Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast review, another new arrival here. This is the Kyle Weatherman 2020 Darlington Throwback. This is a throwback for, uh, I mean, obviously you can tell it looks like a classic sheriff car. Back the blue, or hashtag back the blue, on the side, and then it's got uh, Canine Patrol on the hood. So we'll go ahead and take a look at it here. Um, we're going to start with the box. It is a classic Darlington box. Uh, so this is what they look like for uh, last year. We've got Darlington Raceway, official throwback. Weekend, and then the NASCAR logo, the new NASCAR logo, as you can see. Um, do I have an old NASCAR logo? Gotta look. No? No? Okay, anyway. You can see it's the new NASCAR logo, not the not the one all the way across, but you can see it's a little di different there, which I think it looks pretty good. Uh, you can see it right under the car there, hashtag back the blue, and then the quantity, one of 708. So a very, very um, standard box for the Darlington Throwbacks with, of course, the, do the two renders. Um, now... Let's go ahead and take a look at this die cast because I think it's a, a, a really cool paint scheme. So down the left side, we've got the gloss black front end followed by the white on the hood, door, and C-post, and just kind of the whole roof area, followed by more black on the back. Starting up the front, you got the Chevy Camaro front end, number 47. You've got K9 uh, on the hood there with the thin blue line. we got Patrol on each side over there. Uh, on the hood at least we've got the classic Goodyear throwback tires which are looking good as always number 47 hashtag back the blue and then thin blue line USA uh, we got the Goodyear tires as I said before we got uh, officer <laughs> officer weatherman I like that that's pretty funny uh, the American flag got number 47 up there on the roof we got weatherman on the rear window uh, let's see who we got on the back here we got the journey home project um, blank rear bumper but it's all gloss black there uh, right side is the same as the left with the hashtag back the blue. Uh, not a lot of sponsors in here. We do have a thin blue line flag up there, number 47. Goodyear, and then the uh, little blue stripe there. Underneath the car, you can see that's our undercarriage. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look under the hood of this car and just kind of talk about it here. So uh, under the hood, there's our engine detail, uh, but it is blank under the hood as far as decals. And then uh, we also do have the Xfinity banner on the windshield, and uh, that's, that's really all there is in terms of car detail. Now, uh, I know a lot of people, I shouldn't even say a lot of people, it's really not controversial to say uh to say, but I don't know. I, I don't. I don't like saying contra controversial because it's it's hard to say if it is or isn't. Really, at the end of the day, support your local uh, your local sheriffs, the people who who protect you and, and keep you safe. At the end of the day, uh, there is you know obviously just like anything, there's bad cashiers, there's bad police, there's bad criminals. It's it's everywhere. But um, you know, I don't like the idea of everyone's bad from a specific walk of life or everyone's good from a specific walk of life. It it, it is truly um, every person person is an individual and you have to treat them as such. But uh, that's as far as I'm really going to go on this. I really don't want to deal with uh, a bunch of backlash or, or even positive. I mean, again, back of blue is a good thing. Um, you know, uh, as long as they're, uh, you know, treating people correctly and that goes for everybody. You know, if you're, if you're at your house and, and, you know, somebody doesn't like the fact that you're not wearing a mask at your house, good police officers won't arrest you because it's, you know, that's not constitutional, but the entire point of it is uh, we're, we're, we're supposed to be uh, all about pro people. We're pro individual here. So uh, anyway, that's as far as I'm going on that. I don't want to touch it after that. Uh, we're going to leave that alone, but um, let me know your thoughts on this die cast in the comments below. I think it's a really cool looking car. It's a great looking paint scheme, just a good balance of color. Um, so let me know in the comments below your thoughts on it. Um, also do subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an upload, including including the later one for today, which is a nice little pink Hooters car. So make sure you have subscribed so you don't miss that one when it comes out here later this afternoon. Uh, but other than that, this has been Race Craze. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.